Let's talk about stats and traits. Stats determine the power of a character and influence skills. There are four stats in Throne and Liberty. All stats increase damage differently. Strength and Perception raise min and max attacks, while Dexterity and Wisdom increase damage in other ways. Adding more strength will additionally increase defense-related stats. Dexterity improves damage and increases dodge. For every 10 critical hits, the chance of triggering a heavy attack increases by 1%. Dexterity greatly boosts bows and daggers. The crossbow's merciless barrage resets on a crit hit, and the dagger's frenzied sword dance earns a heavy attack chance. Wisdom enhances stats and skill reuse speed. Skill reuse time is halved at 100% reuse speed. 5 seconds for a 10 second cooldown. 50% reuse speed reduces the cooldown by 33.3%. 6.7 seconds for a 10 second cooldown. Perception increases your chance of hitting the enemy, which boosts accuracy. Hit applies to stuns, binds, and silences. Status ailments are achieved when stats reach a threshold. Let's look at additional effects received whenever a stat reaches a certain threshold. Let's talk about what each effect does, grouping similar effects. First are critical hits and heavy attacks. When a critical hit is triggered, maximum damage is applied. Heavy attack doubles the damage if triggered. For weapons like the greatsword and staff where the gap between minimum and max attack is narrow, heavy attack is more efficient than critical hit. Swords have a large gap between min and max attack. For bows and dagger, critical hits are effective. Additional damage is added to the final damage value after the attack hits. Crossbow and daggers, boosting high attack speed and numerous hits see the best efficiency with critical hit. Conversely, damage reduction is subtracted from the final damage received. If a sword wielder takes more strength, they gain the two-in-one benefit of defense and attack. Reflect damage to your opponent through the sword's counter barrier skill. The higher the damage reduction value, the greater the reflected attack. Buff duration extends the duration of skills giving buffs. Buff duration affects these skills. Debuff duration reduction decreases the duration of debuffs received. Adjust your debuff duration reduction to more than minus 14%, so that stuns from bosses will wear off in time to block the next attack. You can block the attack. Increasing core stats will require more points incrementally, consuming two than four points. Therefore, use the stats on your equipment to be effective. Weapons gain plus one every two points and armor plus one every four points. Main stats increase by one per upgrade. Use the hourglass of beginning to reset your core stats anytime. Traits are additional stats on equipment. Click this button in the equipment information window. You can check the available traits to be added to the selected equipment. Each piece of equipment has one trait and up to three traits can be added. When unlocking a new trait, you need the same equipment with the identical trait. If you don't have the equipment, you can extract the trait. Once unlocked, traits can be improved. When improving, unlike trait unlocking, you can use different items as materials. Blue equipment can be improved up to three times and purple equipment up to four times. Use any weapon type as material for weapon improvement. Equipment and extracts can be used as materials. However, armor and accessories must use equipment and extracts from the same part. For example, I want to enhance a purple dagger. I can use another dagger as the material for improvement or even a different weapon. Of course, the traits must match. Blue items can also be used if the equipment is of the same part, but the success rate drops to 10%. If it fails, blessing points accumulate. Using blessing points increases the chance of improvement success. Once used, all points disappear, so choose wisely when to use them. The extract button is at the bottom right of the bag. Select the item you want to extract and press the extract button. When ready to extract, you need grade dependent extraction flames from the Sundries Merchant. Extraction is good because extracting bound items turns them into unbound items. Items you acquire in dungeons are bound and cannot be sold on the market, but if you extract them, they become unbound items. Unused traits should be extracted and sold on the market. Remember, you can't extract improved items or items with improved traits. You can also change assigned traits by switching them. Trait transfer works with matching gear or extracted traits. Note that the improvement level is completely reset when switching. Let's explain equipment stats. Weapons include accuracy, critical hit, heavy attack, and attack speed. Attack speed reduces the duration when using a normal attack. 
In addition, it also accelerates the speed of skills, such as the longbow's decisive sniping and the staff's infernal meteor. It also accelerates the casting speed of skills with casting time. Armor has stats for endurance, evasion, and health. Armor has some traits exclusive to specific parts. Make sure to check the following traits, as they can only be obtained from specific parts. Endurance reduces critical hit chance by 1% for every 10 points. Evasion is the opposite of hit, missing enemy attacks by 1% every 10 points. In accessories, pay attention to damage and damage resistance. Damage increases skill attack power and healing from recovery skills. Earn 1% damage for every 10 points. Damage resistance reduces the skill damage from enemy players, bosses, and regular monsters. That's all for this video. This video was translated with Google Translate by Zashikix, so please riot in the comments. Key is recruiting dedicated EU MMORP gamers for Throne and Liberty. 